Modern Warfare 3 is basically NW2, just without all the bugs and no PBS. For that reason alone, I think NW3 is better than NW2. You heard what I said, deal with it. Seeing as I couldn't find a single legitimate lobby in NW2, I'm curious as to how NW3 is doing. So without further ado, let's get into it. There were almost 200 people playing TDM, with a few more scattered in Free For All and Dom. It's just always safe to assume with these older games that you'll only be playing Team Deathmatch. But sometimes you'll catch a lobby on other modes. My first match was on Hard Hat, a map that most players know well. For some reason, the enemy team just kept funneling through the tunnel just to get mowed down every time. Straight up bots over here. And screw new tubes. Legit, I don't know how they're this oblivious to me. I must have gotten lucky and gotten a potato lobby. We don't talk about this aim though. Seriously, look at this. When recording this series, I went straight gamer dad too. I mean, I'm sitting here in front of my 32 inch TV playing through the speakers while my kids are screaming in the background. That should have given most players an edge over me. I guess I'm just that good. Having red dots on the minimap definitely helped. Remember those? Now I ended up making some dumb plays near the end, but I still ended up going 15 and six with six freaking assists. Stop stealing my kills, guys, come on. All right, next match. I'll be honest and say that I haven't put a ton of time in NW3 like I had some other games. I only have 20 hours played, and most of that was from when I started streaming it in 2020. I get very confused on some of these maps, and Bakara is one of them. This match started with me creeping around the outside, picking people off when I saw <laughs> I hit him with my flashbang. Pro tip, don't put tack inserts right where everyone is, dummy. That's when I realized the enemy split screeners kept coming back to this building over and over and over again. I don't know how they kept killing my teammates. They weren't very good. But since I don't know this map very well, I just kept running back here and killing them to pad my numbers. So all in all, NW3 seems to be doing all right. Everyone's latency bars were jumping around from yellow to green, but it didn't seem to affect the gameplay too much. Honestly, this was probably the smoothest experience I've had yet in the series. I didn't see any modders, but as with every older PS3 Call of Duty, they're always creeping in the shadows. So there you have it, that's NW3 in 2023. I'm covering other older games on the channel, so make sure to keep an eye out for those videos too. Thanks for watching, I hope you have a great day.